Today we dive back into Marlin and we take a look at bed skew compensation. Bed skew compensation is a newer feature of Marlin that allows the firmware to try to correct mechanical inconsistencies that might be seen on your 3D printer. How it works is you print a couple of test objects, you take measurements off those objects, and you enter those values in the firmware so it knows how to compensate. It can correct for all three axes on the printer, and if that doesn't make a lot of sense right now, I will go through how it all works during the setup. So let's head into Marlin, see how this thing works, take a couple of prints, and see if we can correct some of the inconsistencies on our log printer. We'll start by opening up the Marlin folder that's already configured for this 3D printer. As always, links to Marlin and the Arduino IDE that you need below. We open up the Marlin INO file. We'll go to configuration.h, and we'll hit Control F, and we can search for SKU. Here you'll find the calibration section, and there'll be bed skew compensation. This is currently the newest version of Marlin 1.1.8. So if you read through these instructions, it's going to tell you step by step how skew compensation works, but I'll explain all that in more detail. The first thing we want to do is we want to have the Thingiverse and grab the models that you need to print in order to measure the skew. There are two models, and you'll want to print one of these for the horizontal measurements, and then two of these for the vertical measurements, one for the X measurements and one for the Y measurements. When you go to print the vertical models, you'll want one in this orientation. This will be for your XZ measurement. And then you'll want to turn it 90 degrees, so this will be for your YZ measurements. So we'll have three prints in total. So we'll continue going through the comments and the bed skew compensation. The next step, you want to measure the distance between the diagonals A to C. That's on the horizontal model. Our A and C measurement on the horizontal piece is 141.64. Our B and D measurement is 140.70. And our A to D measurement is 99.76. Now we need to take all those horizontal measurements and enter them into Marlin. First, we'll enable skew correction. We'll remove this comment. And now we'll enter all the horizontal measurements we just took. Remember, all the measurements you took need to be multiplied by two. So our AC measurement was 141.64. That'll be 28328. Our BD measurement was 140.70. That's 281.4. And our side AD measurement was 99.76. That's 199.52. This variable is if you want to do the math yourself. I prefer just to measure the printed parts. So you'll want to comment this out or it will override all the measurements you took. Now we need to go get all the XZ and YZ measurements for the vertical parts. Our XZ vertical measurement, B to D, is 140.67. A to C is 141.88. Our YZ piece, our A to C measurement is 141.01. And our Y to Z, B to D measurement is 141.44. And the YZ, A to D measurement, 99.87. Now that we have our measurements, back into Marlin, and we will uncomment skew correction for Z. Again, all the measurements we took need to be multiplied by 2. So we'll do our XZ diagonal AC, which was 141.88. That's 283.76. Then our XZ diagonal DB, that was 140.67. That's 281.34. Now our YZ AC measurement, that was 141.01. 28202. Now our YZDB measurement, which was 141.44. 282.88. And our YZ side to side AD measurement, which was 99.87. 199.74. Again, these skew factor variables will override your measurements if you don't comment them out. If you do want to do the math, the math problems are available up here. 
But since we took the measurements, we'll just comment out these two for now. The last variable in skew correction is for skew correction G code. This is if you want to use the M852 command to set the skew correction in your G code file. If you want to use this feature, go ahead and uncomment this line. I found it is helpful to use this command to see what the skew is actually being corrected for. So go ahead and uncomment this, and then you can use your M852 command in your terminal to check the skew correction anytime you want. Now that we've got all our measurements put in, let's hit verify to make sure we didn't make any mistakes. If the verify looks good and it compiles, let's go to tools, make sure we're on the right board, make sure we're on the right COM port, and then hit upload. Now that the upload's complete, let's open up Proterface and connect up to the printer. And you should be able to see the 852 command get entered at the end of the startup. If you missed it, you can just go ahead and enter the M852 manually, and that'll show you what your skew factors are. So we're compensating for a hundredth of a millimeter in X and Y, a hundredth of a millimeter in X and Z, and nothing in Y and Z. So the printer's actually pretty straight. So what are these models actually trying to measure? If you print your horizontal model with the A to this corner and the C to this corner laying like this, it's actually trying to adjust for skew in the X gantry. So if it was tilted this way, your X and Z model printed like this, again with A down in this corner, D over on this side, this is actually trying to adjust for skew that's in this motion. It could be the X is up and down or one side or the other, or the frame was skewed a little bit that way. So when you print your YZ model with the orientation like this, with your A in the front and the D in the back, it's actually trying to measure if there's any wobble this way, forward and back, or if the back is higher than the front, or vice versa. Now we'll print another set of test models and measure those to see how much the skew changed after we added the correction. On the skew corrected model, the A to C measurement is 140.54, the B to D measurement is 141.56, and the A to D side to side is 99.80. On the XZ model, the A to C is 141.76, the B to D measurement is 140.53. On the YZ model, the A to C is 140.78, the B to D is 141.36, and the across A to D is 99.83. So here's the measurements as a whole. If you look at the horizontal measurements here and here, there really isn't enough difference in between the models to say that it helped or hurt the skew. After the skew correction was on, the number averages are actually a little further apart. If you look at the XZ numbers, after the correction, the numbers were a little closer together. So it might have helped X and Z a little bit. And then you take the Y and Z numbers. If you take the averages in change in between the skew of both sets of numbers, I say it did help in Y, Z the most. So skew correction is doing its job, but the numbers really aren't conclusive enough to say that it's helping or hurting your prints. And that's probably because the inconsistencies on this machine are pretty high. It was made for around $200 and cut out of wood. But what if the skew amount was a lot? And I mean a lot. Would it correct that skew? So let's do this. Let's disable skew correction, print a horizontal model with a lot of skew added to the printer, then turn skew correction on after we measure that part and see if it can correct it. So let's jump back into Marlin and let's just disable both the skew corrections for now. Now we'll re-upload the firmware and then I'll add some serious skew to the log printer. Now that the printer has been skewed in this direction and skew correction has been turned off, let's do that horizontal test print again and see what we get. This is the print with skew correction off with the printer pretty severely skewed on the X axis. It might not look skewed right now, but check it out against a square. That has some serious skew. 
The SKU model A to C measures 143.29, B to D 138.57, and side to side A to D 99.58. Now we'll jump back on the Marlin and we'll turn SKU correction back on. We'll leave Z SKU correction off for now, but let's enter in our values for our skewed model. So our AC measurement was 143. 0.29. Remember, you have to multiply these numbers by 2 times 2. 286.58. Our B to D measurement was 138.57, 277.14, and our A to D measurement 99.58, 199.16. And we'll re-upload this to the printer. The upload is complete. Let's go to printer face and connect up. You can see that 852 command, the SKU is now reading 0.03. So the SKU is a lot higher and it is trying to correct it. Now let's print our horizontal test model again and see if it actually corrected the SKU. Here's our new SKU corrected model. Let's go ahead and measure it. A to C is now 140.96, B to D is 141.05, and A to D across 99.64. You can see the huge jump in the numbers with the before with the skewed printer on purpose and the numbers after. It made huge corrections to correct that model. And just to take one more look, Here's the skewed model next to the square, and here's the corrected model next to the square. Not too bad for fixing it with software. And there you go. It is possible to correct mechanical skew in the Marlin software and get pretty good results. It might be something you want to look at for your 3D printer if you're seeing some inconsistencies in your models, or as your printer ages and things start to wear. You might want to check it out. I hope you liked this video and you found it helpful. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up or subscribing to my channel. If not, leave your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.